Departments has signed a memorandum of understanding with Presidential Initiative on Compressed Natural Gas, a National Institute of Transport Technology. The agreement focuses on training of technicians in converting petrol and diesel vehicles to CNG-powered vehicles, along with the repair and maintenance of these vehicles. ADBN's labor correspondent, Ekai Tebut, who covered these events, tells us more. <laughs> The Presidential Initiative on Compressed Natural Gas is one of the priorities of President Bola Metinobo's administration to cushion the effects of the removal of fuel subsidy. The initiative, when harnessed, will address most of the challenges being faced by Nigerians, especially on the reduction of transportation costs and prices of commodities. Speaking while signing the MOU, the Minister of State for Labor and Employment, Honorable Kiruka Oyonjo Cha, said she is optimistic that the initiative will change the present narrative on transportation, reaffirm the government's commitment to collaborating with relevant stakeholders in making sure that the hike in transport fare across the country is drastically reduced and affordable. She reiterated the ministry's readiness to partner with labor unions to make sure that the program comes alive. You know, of course, that there are big players in the arena of transportation. You have Retian, you have uh, NURTW, uh, uh, and so we are going to partner with them and get them involved to be able to nominate the, uh, the mechanics that are going to work. In that way, they will be like inside. Nobody's going to tell them any story. In his earlier remarks, the program director of the Presidential Initiative on Compressed Natural Gas, Michael Oluwagbemi, said the MOU is about collaborating with the Minister of Labor and Employment and having labor unions nominate the 500 technicians that will be trained within the next 60 to 75 days to get the conversion program running. And I think ultimately the Ministry of Labor is about making the lives of not just Nigerian workers better at the end of the day because every Nigerian is a worker or used to be a worker or will become a worker. But the reality is to make the life of all Nigerians better. And the Ministry of Labor is keen into this, helping us with respect to manpower development and the empowerment that we can translate from the deployment of the over 5,000 tricycles and about 500 buses that we're expecting in the first phase of this program that was funded under the Paliti, managed by the Ministry of Finance and the Presidential CMD Initiative. The call on organized labor to key into the program as Nigerian workers are the worst hits in the present transportation programs due to the removal of fuel subsidy. Ikaite Ibut, ADBN News. Nigerian